you know, that's extreme. Death, that's extreme, right? Uh, Watch that's this. That's how my pastor puts it, so I mean. You say what? That's how my pastor puts it, and he holds no punches, so. That's how your pastor puts it? Yeah, that's why he asks questions. Because have your pastor went into this and, under, and let you, showed you why it's important to actually keep the commandments. Because if you don't know that you're from the 12 tribes of Israel, right. like the officer said, this won't resonate with you. It's just words on the page. But you got to know how the importance of the Lord creating you, putting you down here on this earth, and then coming to die for you. Right. Christ came and died for you, not for you to, to continue in sin, to continue to smoke a cigarette. Right. He came so you can be holy, so you can transform, change your mindset. Right. You understand? Watch this. Give me a 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Go back to that. Because do you hate yourself? Right. Do you hate yourself, huh? Sometimes. Sometimes? And that, I understand why you're saying that. That's why going to church is not good for our people. Right. right. Because there's no way we should be raised up in church with the Bible in our hand and we hate ourselves. Right. Bring it up. This is the great, this is our riches right here. That's right. The Lord is you greater than what we think we are. This Bring is why we gotta come out here and uplift, exhort our people. Because we've been tried it down. That's right. So throw the throw the cigarette down. Throw the cigarette down. Throw the cigarette down. If you if you love yourself, this is the first step. Right. Watch this. Myself. Listen, if, but you cannot. You say what? But understand that. Why do you hate yourself? Because you don't know who you are. Right. You don't know how special you are. Right. That's why you hate yourself. Bring it out. You think you a nigger. You think you a Negro. Right. You think you are all the identities that this man taught you. Right. He taught you to hate yourself. Right. The Willie Lynch letter. Right. That's right. what it is. So when you follow after this man, this, the consequences is, in our mind, we hate ourselves. Right. This is why we come out here and show you who you are according to the Bible, so you can begin to love yourself. Right. That's right. When you love yourself, you'll start to repent. You'll start to transform and understand, I don't have to smoke this cigarette. I don't need this cigarette. Right. Right. Watch this. Read what you got. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 16. Yeah. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. The Bible says it's a different spirit in the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It's a different spirit in all of us. We right. walk different. We think different. We act different. That's right. It's a different spirit in us. He, the Lord said, you don't know what that spirit is within you? That's not in the rest of these other nations? Right. These other nations don't have an opportunity to, to serve God. Right. right. The, uh, the Lord calls these other nations, the so-called white man, Chinese man, Japanese man, God calls them nothing. Right. He said, you are my child. Bring it out! Don't you know that? If you knew that, you wouldn't hate yourself. That right, wouldn't even come out your mouth. Right. But you don't know that. You understand? Read it again. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Yeah. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. You hear that, you black, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Right. If you continue to defile your temple, the Lord said, I'm going to destroy you. Right. I'm going to destroy you slowly but surely. Right. So tomorrow you're going to wake up, you're going to have throat cancer. Right. You're going to be watching a commercial and you're speaking like this out of, a, out of a tube. Do you want that from yourself? No, you don't. So you, obviously you don't hate yourself. Right. Right. If you don't want that for yourself, you'll throw the cigarette down. That's right. Because now you're showing that you truly do love yourself. Right. Give me Tobit chapter 12, verse 10. Bring it out. I'm going to show you, sis, how important it is for us to come out and exhort. You understand who you are, according to this Bible. Watch this. Tobit chapter 12, verse 10. The book of Tobit, chapter 12 and verse 10. But they that sin are enemies to their own life. Read it again. But they that sin are enemies to their own life. The Bible says if you break my commandments, you are enemy to your damn self. Right. You are enemy to yourself. Do you want to be the enemy to yourself? Hell no. No, you're not, sis. No, you're not. You can put the cigarette down. The cigarette is not fixing anything. A lot, Just like the Captain Brown got earlier, a lot of us run to cigarettes, weed, uh, alcohol, because you're trying to escape the, the conditions that we live in. The only thing, the only way you're gonna be able to escape the conditions is this right here. Is this word of God. You understand? Give me Psalms 119 and verse 9. Bring it out. Give me Psalms 119. Sis, I'm begging you, throw the cigarette down, sis. I'll give you this. I'm not throw the damn cigarette down, sis. You don't need the cigarette. 
You don't need it. Because guess what? After you smoke it, you still gonna be in the same stressed environment that you in. You still gonna be in the same, you still gonna feel the same way about you. So is that benefiting you at all? No, it's not. And you don't you don't hate yourself. Nobody that hates themselves is gonna stop and hear the word of God. Period. So you don't hate yourself. Stop test, stop, don't even tell yourself that. You gotta start rethinking your rethinking your mind. Watch this, Psalms 119 and 9. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? This is a question that our forefathers asking. How can a man, the, the Bible's written, written in masculine form. How can a man or a woman cleanse their ways? Cleanse, cleanse your mind. How can you clean your mind up? Watch this, he gonna give you the answer, read. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. It says by taking heed to the word. So if the word says, guess what? It's a different spirit in you, sis, that's in all these other spirits. You got to think, when you see the Chinese woman walking around, do you know she want to be like you? Right. right the so-called white woman, when she braid her hair, the, cor the cornrows in her hair, the Kim Kardashians in the world, right. where do you think she wants to be when she does that? Right. She wants to be you. Right. All hey. these other nations want to be you, and we hate ourselves. Right. We hate the image that we see in, we see in the mirror. This is what we, you got to start rethinking yourself. Because why? The Lord says, I love you. That's what I chose you out of all nations on this earth. You got to understand that. The Lord, do you understand? Do you know that? Do you know that God only loves which every these people that, he, that you see on this sign right here? Can you believe that? Look at this sign right there. The Lord said, out of every nation on this planet, every spirit on this planet, I only love the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. That's right. That's it. And we can show you that out the Bible. Give me that uh, Isaiah 40 right quick. Bring it out. 40 and uh, 15. Give me Isaiah 40 and 15. We can show you this out the Bible. I only, he said, I only, matter of fact, Joel 3 and 3. Bring it out. Joel 3 and 3. Hold that one and we're going to come right back. Watch this, sis. This is what your pastors, these are what these Christian pastors in these Catholic churches, these uh, Baptist churches, this is what they're not teaching us. This is why blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, we hate ourselves. Right. But this Bible is showing you, you above every nation on this earth. Right. Read what you got. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. You hear what the Bible just said? What did it say? Read it again for the sister. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. The Bible just said, I only know you. Of every family on this earth, I only know you. Right. I only deal with you. That used to be a question I used to, I used to have when I was a child coming up. How is it it's only one guy, it's two billion people on, on the planet, how does he love everybody? Right. How is he around, how does he watch over everybody? Right. You know, I used to ask myself this until I read this Bible. The Bible just said he only knows one group of people on this earth. Yeah, so that right. makes sense to me, okay, that you trimming it down. Right. The rest of the nations, I don't even love. I don't worry about. Right. You only do I love of all the families on the earth. Read, come on. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. He said, just because I know the blacks and Hispanics of all the nations on this earth, I'm going to punish you for your iniquities. Right. That's why black people lead in cancer. Black people read, uh, we, we lead in STDs. Right. Why? If all the nations are smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, why does black people lead in throat cancer and right. cancer? Because he only loves you right. of all nations. I don't care what this so-called white man is doing. Right. I don't care what that Japanese man is doing. Right. I only love my daughters and Sarah. That's and right. And if you know that in your mind, you will understand, okay, well, damn. It's no reason for me to hate myself because the, I got a personal connection with the father. Right. With the man that created this whole earth. Right. He created it for you. Right. Do you understand that? So if understanding that, you will throw the pack of cigarettes away. Right. I am in reformation. Yo, okay, all praises. You in reformation. So you got to understand, if you leave here and you smoke your cigarette, I want you to think about this for the rest of the day. Right. I want you to say this in your mind. Every time I light a cigarette up, I'm an enemy to my own self. Right. I do that anyway. Okay, well, you got to stop being an enemy to yourself. 
And I have been working on it. Love yourself. Right. I've been working. You understand? Love your people. If you love yourself, guess then you start to love the people, love your nation, right. and keep God's commandments. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is you.